All right, so quick update on, on things here. I'll talk about the compost water heater here, which I've finished in a minute. But firstly, a little issue that I came across with the solar water heater. Um, if you can remember from my other video, I was going to have the probe inside of here in an insulated enclosure concealed within the solar heater. Um, but unfortunately, it just got too hot in there. Um, it got over 100 degrees actually. And as you can see there, it's actually just melted all the plastic. And it's just too hard really at the moment. I, I can't be bothered trying to insulate an enclosure in there and have the probe in there. So I've instead gone for, I'm going to have this on the outside of the solar heater. It's just a little bit of polystyrene with a bit of twin wall in it. And I'll slide the probe in the twin wall. And when the sun comes out, it should pretty quickly heat that up enough that my probe can pick that temperature difference um, and activate the solenoid valves which will then let the water flow through the solar water heater and then when the sun when it gets cloudy and the sun drops away say for a couple of hours or so this should pick it up pretty quick near the probe and that way it can turn the solenoid valves off uh, stopping the water from going through the solar heater when the sun's not shining this way that I was going to do it it's just it's just it's quite quite difficult really um, when it gets cloudy the probe just stays hot in here for ages um, so you end up with not that much heat but stays quite hot in here being inside of the inside of the enclosure it gets quite warm so I'm going to just go with this on the outside for now um, not the nicest looking but that's why originally why I wanted it concealed just because it doesn't look as good but that'll be alright and I've now made up the basically made up the fins for the compost water heater um, I've got an inlet pipe here once again I've gone parallel I've done that so that it puts less pressure on the pump so I need less head um, so the water should come in here and it should in parallel sort of fill all these pipes up and then come out down here at the outlet warm obviously and then it'll head off to the solar heater and then obviously back to the greenhouse um, so I'm hoping this thing will keep warm water in there 24-7 basically um, I just have to make sure I get the compost heat really hot um, I might put a metal cover on top of these just to stop all the dirt and all that from the compost getting in here among these pipes um, but I haven't done that yet um, on the outside I'll just have a couple of these threaded taps on here so that I can take it out of the compost heap and put it back in as I need to as I change the as I change the compost heap over. Um, being parallel I'll have to make sure this is always slanted. It can go horizontal and vertical but I just have to make sure that if I go horizontal I don't slant it up that way because if I do that the water's going to come in here and it's only going to go through the bottom pipes mostly and come out. So ideally I want to have it on a bit of an angle like that. Um, I'm going to have a temperature probe in here too. Um, another wireless one that I can monitor. Um, just like in the solar heater. And this will just sit in there basically and tighten up on the bottom and I'll have a probe in there. That'll tell me the temperature of the compost heap. And yeah, that's pretty much it really. So all I've got to do now is get all the power to the greenhouse. Get all the pipes run, insulate the pipes and yep, I've tested out the probe today, that works. Rotation on the solar water heater is working. Um, I've just got to get power to that too and power to the greenhouse so I'll give a bit of an update when I've done the next stage. Yep, 